Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about this magic tool, the 3D rotation tool and the 3D uh, translation tool, uh, which the shortcut is W, as in why did I use why did they use W as a shortcut and G as G golly, why did you use G? I mean, why? Nobody knows. But that's not going to bring us down. What we're going to do is uh, use these two tools to create a cool animation and the things that you can do with them. So let's get started. I've already created this movie clip. And when you're creating the movie clip, you want to make sure your registration point is in the center. But I'll also show you another way how you can um, change the uh, registrations po registration point using these tools. So let me just drag this cool looking spaceship out to the stage and next I'm going to select it by uh, 3D translation tool. The 3D translation tool is pretty cool. Um, what you can do is bring it up and down or uh, close like the depth in uh, 3D. So uh, awesome. And you can also mess the Y and you can do the X. Really cool. Now another thing I want to show you is after you're messing around with the X and Y, that's all cool. If you, I'm on Z, but if you go just a little bit below Z, where your mouse is just a black triangle and it doesn't have a uh, letter underneath it, you can change the point at which you are uh, altering the X and Y. So that's a cool thing to know. Change it. For, you can change the the angles or the points. So let's go into the 3D rotation tool. The 3D rotation tool, I find changing the points, it makes a little bit more sense because when you change the point, it's going to change which axis you're on. So let me just explain the 3D rotation tool. Pretty simple. You can go in the middle, not in the middle, but you can go in these quadrants and just pull. Or, excuse me. You can. <laughs> you can go out of the quadrant like right inside this circle there's like the outer circle the inner circle and right in between if you just click in there and the mouse turns into that black triangle you can just freely rotate it however you'd like if you go on these lines like and your mouse turns into a triangle with an X with a letter you're able to edit or rotate on that axis so the three axes that they that are available are the y axis, the x axis, and the z axis, which is this blue line, the inner circle, which is basically a rotation. Cool to know, cool to know, but uh and not really awesome, I don't think. I wouldn't say it's awesome. What makes this awesome is that you can use all these these two tools to create um, some really cool effects with tweening and I have showed you the motion editor so let's do some motion editing with this movie clip go V for my selection tool bring it over oh, I'm just gonna remove this and start with a fresh one all right. Now, the way we start a uh, motion edit or motion tween, we just right click on the movie clip and we say create motion tween. Depending on how many frames per second your movie is running, Flash is going to give you one second of animation. So let's go to the first frame by just clicking on the one. And what you, we want to do is we want to select our movie clip and make sure we select the 3D translation tool or rotation tool and we'll go to say then another frame the fifth frame and in the fifth frame I want it to move over that many on the x-axis and move move down on the y-axis and move in on the z-axis so what you'll see is a your ship kinda going down and in and I can continue say go to the tenth frame click x-axis bring up on the z-axis 
and maybe up on the Y. So I have this uh, that kind of rotation. I mean that uh, movement. So you can see that it's pretty cool. I can do even more. More, you say? What more? Let's go to this 3D rotation tool. And with the 3D rotation, I'm going to go on the... Um, excuse me. I don't want to do the X. I want to do the Y. And let's say I want to kind of go in. Like, and now I'm at the 10th. And I want it to look correct now. And what does that do? So, I mean, this is not the greatest animation in the world, but it's just saying what you can do. And let's say you are on the fifth frame and you want to edit precisely, exactly. Well, what you can do is go to the motion editor, make sure your item is selected, and in the motion editor, look there. There's all the things that we've been doing. Flash has recorded it and set keyframes for it. So you can you know edit anything so um, right now I'm on that fifth frame and I can change the Z maybe I want it to be in or closer to the screen oh there you go I got it closer to the screen now see that animation now let's see that funky animation isn't that cool okay all right all right I'm having too much fun here but that's just showing you the, some of the cool things that you can do with the 3D uh, rotation tool and the 3D translation tool. Funny shortcut letters, but what are you going to do? Uh, thanks for watching on Interflash. If you like these tutorials, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And if you really like these tutorials and you want some more, you can go to my website on interflash.blogspot.com where you can find all my tutorials categorized for you to easily find and also if you really want to help me out if you understand that this is an economic crisis then you'll go to my website and click on an ad to help fund on enter flash thanks for watching and uh was it saint patrick's day happy saint patrick's day yeah. don't you know saint patrick's day my lucky termsy